How's it going guys? We are back on another video here and this video is going to be a gameplay tip video. I haven't done this in a little while so I'm going to kind of walk you through some things that, that I do in game and, and really what I look for. Right? So hope you guys do enjoy this video. Uh, it's really how to get better at NHL 23. Tips from a D1 player. I'm in Division 1 so I mean I, I feel like you know I'm pretty good at the game. I'm pretty good. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm a top player but I'm pretty good at the game here. I'm Division 1 as you can see. Almost 2,200 skill rating. I win more than I lose. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get into this right now I'm gonna kind of just commentate over over my gameplay here and just walk you through what I see out there And, and what I consider when when a lot of things are happening. All right, so uh, we're gonna get into this now And, and I'll see you guys uh, see you guys then all right guys So we're gonna get into this game now I'm gonna try to just really give you guys my my opinions and and show you guys what I do in game to, to try to help you out All right, so here we go. So obviously we're gonna Try to win this face off. We're gonna lose it because I got a little bit too aggressive. I was actually gonna go straight back. I would have won it that means as well. So he's trying to reset here. He's got Sanderson, which I'm, I'm surprised he's not actually using the gold truculence on him. But uh, anyway, so he's gonna just try to break out here. Just flying in the zone here with McKinnon. Just make a good poke. All right, so go to McKinnon and go to Matthews here. Try to get a quick zone entry. Move your right stick as much as you can. Find McDavid cutting there. See, if I was able to actually control that puck and shoot forehand, it would have been a goal. I was not able to do that, unfortunately. So now. He's going to try to break out with Bedard. Try to make sure we don't really give him uh, too easy of an entry, which unfortunately we kind of did there, but that's okay. So we got McKinnon to the left wing. Got McDavid cutting back to McDavid across to McKinnon. Should have been a goal, but unfortunately McKinnon was in too tight. So now he's got Kucherov for Bedard. All right, so he's just trying to turn, it looks like, and look for a point shot. Yep, just good save. Got to watch out for those. Got to try to maybe block those because deflections are very common in this game, unfortunately. Uh, it's a penalty on him, so we get a power play opportunity. See if I can show you guys a, a good power play. I use Umbrella most of the time, so here we go. All right, let's see if we can try to get one on the power play to get the game started. Show you guys some some good tips on the power play at least. All right, so here we go. We got Matthews out there with Solani and Yager. So we're gonna go straight back, I would think. And now he ties me, of course. Uh, so straight back, it doesn't work, and now he's gonna try to get the puck out. And he's going to really waste a lot of time because this is burst. Literally 30 seconds already off the clock. And he's not even moved the puck yet. This is tough. All right. And this is tough. All right. So go. Go! Oh, my God. Please. It's like he didn't even clear the puck or got it out of the zone. It's just like a minute of just pretty much ragging, honestly. But, all right. And now we have one rush, literally, on the power. That's, that's, that's the thing about burst, guys. Maybe I should have made this video, honestly, when it wasn't burst because the game just goes so quick. Anyway, so we go to Yager, cut to the middle here, get a shot off, gets blocked. I mean, he defended the middle really well. I'll give him credit. All right. And he's got another chance here with his player. I mean, he's going to cycle down low. There's really no one there. So I'm going to try to break out here. I just didn't get the pass off, unfortunately. Weber to Yager, to Matthews, to Lidstrom. And it's just a good poke. I mean, he's making good plays. I mean, I'll admit. So that's a good save there. Solani to Weber. Good break out. Here comes Yager now. Yager is just... Not not fast enough, I guess. Solani got Matthews and then to the forehand. It just won't go, unfortunately. Matthews still got it though. Cut to the slot there, and we get a good shot and a good goal. So, uh, basically, when you're in that area, I would say as well. I feel like with lefties, it's a lot easier because it's usually blocker side. Uh, when you're in the right side, you try to just cut to the middle and just shoot far side. I think it's uh, pretty effective, uh, right? Because I mean, like right right there. Like I think that like the top of the the left circle, I'd say. Well, like the, the, maybe the middle of the left circle is probably what you really what you want to do when you want to try to score that kind of shot. All right, so uh, I'd recommend that. All right, and now let's try to get some other creative goals here to show you guys kind of what I what I do and, and what I look for. So uh, that's a nice little cup play there, but it didn't work out. Fetch lost the puck. All right, so I'm gonna try to try to get a turnover here for him, but. He's making a good play there to just get it in and sauce it down low. It's like actually a really good play. I mean, I got to just in my cap. That was a really good play. He made the quick passes, and, and it really it, it got me. It really did. Like, it, it, really, it really got me. I, I can't, like, can't deny it. It was just a really good play. Just out of nowhere, like, quick passing and, and good goal. Just didn't think that was going to actually happen, but it did. So, there you go. All right, that's it for one, basically. So, 1-1. One, one. I mean, you're going to get our goals, guys. I mean, this game is not... Not easy this year. I mean, I feel like goals are a lot easier to, to give up and surrender, like, quickly. It just feels like that. So, yeah. Let's see if we can do better in the second period here. That's the uh, that's the goal here to show you guys what I got, all right? So, try to help you guys out with your own game, all right? So, here we go. Try to do a, a tie-up, and it's going to work. To McKinnon, to McCarr. Get in the zone quick. 
Matthews. Just, just I feel like my, my goals are usually there. It's not right. It's not there right now. So it's kind of an unfortunate timing to make this video, I suppose. But uh, that's just how it goes. So we got Matthews now. Good aggressive play by him. I got McDavid crashing into the net. It was a force, obviously, though. Unfortunately, try to make an aggressive pinch there. It didn't work. So now he's going to try to look for a chance there for Bedard. He's trying to jam it in here and just force it in. And really, it almost worked. That's the crazy part. Uh, anyway, McCarr just, again, I'm going to grab the boards to McKinnon. And I'm just going to get crushed, unfortunately. And that's just how that, unfortunately, played out. So he's trying to force it towards the middle there. Get it to McDavid. Try to find McKinnon. Yep, towards the middle. To McDavid. Trying to get it to Matthews. Again, that, again, like, that worked, but it's not really what I was looking to do exactly. I was trying to get to McDavid to get it to Matthews to cut and then score like that. Like, I, that was kind of, like, the goal of the whole play, to get it to Matthews, like, cutting like that. Like, get it to Matthews and, and then just cut it to the forward. I mean, again, it, it worked out, you know, but it's not really what I wanted. But, yeah, that's kind of what I did picture uh, when the play was starting. So, there you go. It's our second goal. All right, let's see if we can get another goal. See, again, I want to get one of those goals where I, I, I really make those cut plays. And, I, again, I, I really do that a lot in my games. And, unfortunately, this guy is not letting me really just take over. So, here he is. He's trying to get it down low. Just try to make sure, again, you don't really go behind the net too often with your defenseman because it's very risky because you're out of position. I just want to know. Make quick passes like I just did there to Makar. Trying to make some inside-out cuts as I did there to try to get in the zone. Unfortunately, it didn't work out too well, though. So, we got Sanderson here. He's just trying to gain the zone. I'm, I'm kind of clogging the neutral zone up for him. Can't really do much. All right. And I've got Barzell here. He's going to make a nice self sauce and take the pass. I would take the pass for the most part. Uh, but you got to also make sure you take the shot last second, which I didn't do there, unfortunately. I'm kind of lucky I got the save. All right. So Beagle for Solani. Up to Yager. A little self sauce to help out. Get in the zone. Force a pass there. Uh, sometimes force is good, and that's going to go in, but it's not going to count. Goal interference more than likely, so not really much to say about that. Yeah, it's going to be goal interference, no doubt about it. All right, so no goal, unfortunately, but that's okay. So let's see if we can get another another goal here this period. Try to do a tie up here. All right, there you go. If we can get the puck, nope. All right, Matthew's got it. Nice. All right, so we can see if we can actually do this play that I wanted, that I've been wanting to do. It doesn't look like it because apparently he can just hit me and Matthew just crumbles to the ice. Hate to see it. So it was a good pass there. Creating like a two-on-one, looking for a rebound opportunity there is what he was doing. Quick pass here, quick pass there. Yeah, I just didn't really have enough time anyway. I don't really think it was really worth trying to make that pass. I don't know why I did it. And that's a great poke there because if you pass that across and got it across, it's probably a goal. So that poke is really important. You got to make sure you, you keep your stick smart. But you don't want to poke at the wrong time because then if that is a wrong poke, then it's going to be uh, a guaranteed cross-ice goal. All right, so here we go. Now he's actually doing sick lifts because he knows I've been tying up more often. So I got to start changing my face-offs. Makes sense. All right, so there's a good hit there. Matthews, I got McKinnon with me. McKinnon, back to Matthews. It's an easy goal. Again, like last second pass, that's really important. You hold the forehand and then he's not expecting you to make that pass. So you make that last second pass and it goes in. It's really a beautiful goal in the end. It really is. I mean, again, I, I could have probably maybe just held forehand there. Maybe. But Chester can kind of red in. Again, the goal is not really going to make that save. I mean, if he do, if he does, it's, I mean, what a save it is, really. So, that's a good goal. Got a 3-1 lead now. Uh, that's kind of what I look for a lot. Just, like, the last second passes. Because, again, more, more does it not, they're always not going to be able to make those saves. They're just not. All right. So, they got Bo Meester now. A quick pass to McKinnon. All right. Try to make a nice, yeah, little, little move at the line. Find Matthews and then shoot forehand. Almost worked. Again, the cut plays are very important. When you guys have... Players going to your net. My strategies are updated as well. If you guys want to go to uh, my strategy video, it's, uh, it's some of the strats I'm currently running. All right, so we got Matthews here. So he's looking for a hit there. He missed it, but unfortunately, I lost the puck. All right, so we got Bedard now. He's trying to wheel through the zone. Not going to happen, though. Get to McKinnon here. McKinnon's flying now to McDavid. Nope, didn't have it, I felt. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait, look for reinforcements here. All right, so we're going to look for hopefully Beagle to cut. Yep, so Beagle's here now. Beagle. For McKinnon. Oh, that's not what I wanted. That's so unfortunate because that would have been a goal. So Beagle was cutting there. That would have been an automatic goal. Unfortunately, <laughs> the game did not want it to happen, clearly. All right, so we got... <laughs> that's frustrating. Okay, well, that, that's tough. I want to really show you guys that. I mean, I'm sure you've seen me score that before, though. But unfortunately, it didn't work that time. I <laughs> went to the wrong player, which is just nothing you can really do on that, unfortunately. So we get the puck here. If we do, that'd be nice. We do. Okay. So here's Beagle. 
Try to get in the zone here. See if we can create that play still, maybe. Nope, we got crushed. Unfortunate. All right, three minutes here to go. I mean, we're, we're feeling good. We're going to probably win more than likely, so that's obviously a plus. They try to sauce for a prayer. All right, we're going to get it back to Weber. D to D drive, looking for a deflection, maybe, is what he was looking for. Solani here. Nice little move there. Back to Beagle, back to Solani, and then there you go for the 4-1 lead. I mean, nothing too spectacular here again, but... Again, it's uh, quick passes. That's that's really what I really like doing. I mean, it's the quick passes that are very effective and can really help you out and, and really give you a great, great opportunity to be successful in this game, I, I really do believe. So uh, that's why I'm trying to, you know, try to help you guys out a little bit. I really haven't done a gameplay video in a while. And I can do more if you guys want me to do more. I mean, I know there's only one video, one game, but I could definitely do more as well if you guys would like that kind of stuff. All right. So trying to get in the zone here. Uh, he just kind of clamps me off there. All right, so we've got 40 seconds. I mean, again, we're going to definitely win this game here. So just get block in the way of that, trying to pr protect the slot. I always try to keep people on their backhand. That's kind of, I mean, it's like probably like real life too. Uh, just make sure you don't give them too much easy stuff. Good pass in the middle there. All right, but unfortunately, I wasn't able to make my move that I score on breakaways with. So unfortunate. All right, so we can get one more, one, more, one more goal maybe. That'd be nice for the five, for the max of rivals. But if not, it's all good. So here we go. We're moving around. Be smart. Good pass. He's just trying to run at me, with, so I got Svetch. All right, let's see if we get one more opportunity, maybe. Now nah, he's just playing good D at this point. Let's see if we could uh, make it happen. No, nah, it doesn't look like it. All right, well, GG's. I mean, I hope I hope, I hope this video helped you guys out a little bit. I know I didn't really score too many crazy goals, but uh, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you do. Please leave a like, subscribe if you have not already. Uh, if you want more of these in the future, you can see maybe more goals that I score and other ways I play the game. And probably do like a, a full game, like a Hut Champs game would be even better. But thanks so much for watching, guys, as always. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video.